Hi everyone, my name is Ben Yock and I'm the camp director for Franklin Park Zoo's Zoo Camp. So, for today's Zoo to You is brought to you by MIFA on behalf of the U Fund College Investing Plan. I want to introduce myself and all of my amazing staff and one of our special ambassador friends who I'm about to grab. So, while I do that, let's introduce you to our amazing camp lead, Helena. Hi everyone, my name is Helena. You might remember me, I did a zoo to you last summer. Um, I'm one of the lead counselors this summer, and this is my fifth summer here at the zoo. I'm very excited to make bracelets with all the campers. Hi everyone, my name is Ricardo. This is my sixth summer here at Franklin Park Zoo, and I look forward to meeting all the new and returning campers. Hi everyone, my name is Abby. I'm also a lead counselor with Helena. It's my first summer here, and I can't wait to learn all the names of all the new animals. I'm Alea. And I'm Ashana. We are the two new camp counselors. And we're so excited to see everybody. Hi, Sam. My name is Bingley. I'm a first year camp counselor. And I can't wait to play games and have fun with everyone. All right. So if we have any questions for me or my special friend Barbosa, I'm happy to answer them. In the meantime, I'm going to tell you about camp and Barbosa, aka Barb. Now, all of our snakes here, except for Dot, are Pirates of the Caribbean themed. It is a tradition we've been going on. So we have Barbosa, her brother, Davy Jones, is a male corn snake, so he's dark gray. She is a female, so she is this lovely copper red and orange. Corn snakes are one of the amazing, Barbosa, the camera's that way. There you go. Are some of our amazing ambassador friends we have here at Zoo Camp. So every single day, regardless of age, you're gonna be meeting an ambassador. It's gonna be tied to your daily theme. So for instance, if we have a day on like predators, it could be a snake, right? Or maybe if we're doing something like mammals, you can meet our very fluffy friend, Olaf the rabbit, named after the other fluffy white Olaf the snowman. So we have all these amazing ambassadors. We meet them once a day. So that's five times per week. If you sign up for multiple sessions, you can meet 10 unique ambassadors. Some other really special animal things we do in the week is we have one behind the scenes where you get to feed an animal. No one else in the zoo gets to do that. Some of them you can't even pay to do it unless you attend zoo camp. It's an awesome tradition we did last year and we're gonna keep doing. We do not get to feed these guys because it would be a little gross to be handing kids mice, but we have some other awesome things. So for the animals we're gonna be feeding, it might be things like Please and great. It is one of my favorite experiences to do. I might sneak in with the groups every once in a while and be like, oh, camp director duties. Gotta help out with this just so I get to watch it because it's one of the best experiences I can ever see. Here comes Barbosa again. Some other really, really fun things we'll do in the day. We'll do crafts. Uh, we do crafts every single day, except for on Fridays, because that's talent show day. Last year at camp, we did talent shows a couple times throughout the summer. But now we're going to be doing talent shows every single week. It's going to be great. We'll do them here in our lovely native neighborhood or on the hillside play area. We have things like me singing You're Welcome from Moana, one of my favorite traditions. We have a lot of people doing amazing gymnastics. Bailey, as she just demonstrated, is a gymnast coach throughout the year. So we think we have an even more special counselor now to help out with those. Maybe they can do a routine. I don't really know much about gymnastics, but Bailey sure does. So it's going to be awesome. We'll have some other some skits and things. There's a little water thing I like to do. I'm going to keep that a secret because I don't want the counselors to know what my plan is. Uh, we also will do awesome things like field games. On Fridays, we'll do all camp capture the flag. Last year, we would do things like Rhino Run. We're going to move that to throughout the week. That's going to be things like Silly Savannah Day. It is a game I invented. It involves water and dodgeballs and counselors and kids, and it is ridiculously fun and just ridiculous as a concept. So we'll do all camp capture the flag. In other days, we're gonna do things like Tarantula Trap. If you're a returner, you'll know that that's a game involving trying to sneak across the field while avoiding an invisible spot only the tagger knows about. If you step on the spot, all the kids are live and they can be tagged, just like the infamous Red-Footed Trapdoor Tarantula. So we'll have very fun and silly games like that. We're also gonna do lessons and activities. We'll do them in our tents, like our amazing nature's pavilion here. We'll do that also in the Oakley area where our counselors are taking a break. They've been training really, really hard. Yesterday they did nine hours of first aid and CPR training. So they are a little tired, but 
That is because they're working so hard to get ready for all your campers to be joining us. We've also been doing a lot of lesson practice. This morning, we spent about two hours walking around the zoo, learning how to improvise, how to have a good speaking voice, how to take questions and then redirect them if you're close, or maybe it wasn't the greatest guess, but we're still just happy that you're trying. So we're doing lesson practice. We're also doing activities. A new thing for this zoo camp year that I spent all year working on is activities. They are a combination of games plus learning. So on one of our days, we have Marine Mania for our Ocean Day. That's a game that teaches kids about the difficulties of being a fish, trying to survive with overfishing, with pollution, with already sharks hunting you, and how doing something like picking up the trash can make your life easier. But all that's done through a tagging game so we can learn and still have fun, be a combination of a traditional summer camp and a zoo. Yep, that's the camera, Barb. Barbara does like attention. That is why I brought her out today. She is very curious. She also is meeting Emily the first time, our amazing social media specialist behind the camera. Snakes in general, like Barb, are very scent-based. They also are very vibration-based. So since Emily's new, Barb is gonna be focusing a little bit more on her, just kind of getting her vibe. Because she's not really coiled up and she's so calm right now, we can tell that she's totally happy. One of the biggest misconceptions about snakes, yep, that's my arm, Barb, is that they're gonna hiss, right? We see that a lot in media and things, but snakes only do that as like a last resort like they are about to attack or they are worried they're about to get killed. So I have been working here a while now and I've never seen a snake hiss. The only time apparently a snake has ever hissed at Franklin Park Zoo is when there was a shed that was kind of covering their eyes that they couldn't probably get off. So they were blinded temporarily. So they were just a little nervous, but that came off and everyone was all happy as could be. There you go. Barb was just rubbing her out on my skin. So even our snakes here, who some people are a little more scared of are super, super sweet. Some other animal ambassador friends you can look forward to is prehensile tailed skink, which is a Solomon Islands lizard. We have, the counselors don't know this, but we have a new hornbill, which is like a toucan. It's awesome. And it looks like, I describe it as like the Halloween version of a toucan. He's amazing, but they don't know that, so it's a surprise. Only you're gonna know. So we have him. We have new fennec foxes that joined us. His name is Biku. He is, oh, look, she's, oh, she was cuddling with my pinky. Um, <laughs> We have new fennec foxes, Biku. He is quite dramatic. If you are not giving him constant attention, he is squealing and asking for you to look at him um, because he just loves having the camera and all the eyes on him. We're hoping we can get him out for the summer. We also have Molasses the Sloth, AKA Mo. Mo is another one of our animals who is a little more dramatic. He likes everyone to be looking at him. He wants constant food and then he wants to pass out. He's awesome. We might be getting him out for like our rainforest days. Speaking of which, that's another new thing we're gonna be adding for this year's Zoo Camp 2023. We're gonna be adding special guests. Once per week, a special guest will be visiting Zoo Camp and doing a Q&A and helping add on to what our daily lesson is. So for Rainforest Day, a tropical rainforest zookeeper who works here will come here and your kids are gonna to get to meet them. They're gonna to get to ask them questions, whether that's like career advice or just what's it like? How do you work with a you know, green anaconda versus a hippo. What do I need to learn? How do I become you? Because sometimes those questions can be a little hard to answer, even if you go on the internet. So meeting someone who's doing it can be really special. For the younger kids, for things like Mammal Day, they're gonna be meeting someone from our children's zoo, which you can see in the background. They take care of things like red pandas, prairie dogs, Jedi the donkey, who is the unofficial kind of representative of zoo camp because he's right next to where we operate. He's in the background. I guarantee he will he or ha or both throughout summer camp. He is super, super, super loud, but very, very silly and funny. So we'll get to meet some awesome special... Barb, where are you going? <laughs> We're gonna get to meet some awesome special guests. We're gonna do some new all camp games. We're gonna do some amazing crafts, all of which in our beautiful frame. Hi. <laughs> this is a snake, this is Barbosa. So I'm gonna have to keep talking to the camera, but this is one of our amazing friends. She's a corn snake. She is super, super, super sweet. Right now, she's only barely in touch with my hand. So see how my fingers are all spread out? Yeah. So that means I'm not even holding her. She's just holding me. That's pretty cool, right? Yeah. That also means she's not even squeezing my arm at all. To give you a perspective of how much she's squeezing, it's like, if you ever just had a handshake, 
That's as strong as this is. So I have to keep talking, but I just want to tell you about Barb. Why don't you tell us how to sign up for camp and then you can sure talk to our visitors. I was so yeah. about camp. I even forgot arguing the most important part. If you want more information on our camp or to sign up because you've been inspired by me, Barbosa, and all of my friends and counselors, you can go on to Zoo New England, um, our website, go into programs, and it'll just say camp. There's Franklin Park Zoo Camp and Stone Zoo Camp. Stone Zoo Camp is as spectacular, but it is sold out. It's sold out in the first 22 minutes, so things go by pretty quickly there. We do have spots still available. You can go into our site, click register. It'll take you to active, and you can sign up there. You can put up all your information, like things like medical forms, any special information, stuff like that. So just go on to our website, go into the camp section. You can register there. Currently, we have three sessions remaining with spots. Session two, which is the week of July 4th. So that's on July, that's July 3rd to July 7th, math. So that's the week of July 3rd. Then we also have session five, which is on July 24th. And we also have session six, which is July 31st. So session two, five, and sorry about six. So if you want to sign up, just go onto our website. Registering super easy. And if you have any challenges or questions, you're more than welcome to email me. My email is fpzcamp.org, at, at zunewengland.org. That's the important part. That's also on the website. You can find it there. You can email me if you have any questions. You're also welcome to ask any questions on social media through this, and then they'll forward it to me. But we hope you register. We have some amazing people here and even more amazing, well, not more amazing, equally amazing animals like Barb, who just loves a good old camera. We hope you join us for an amazing summer. And if not, if you're already busy or signed up, that's okay. Because we have other awesome programs for the year. We have zoo kids for three to five year olds. We have junior zoo teens for pre-teens pretty much or teenagers. We have an awesome zoo team program for older kids. We might be implementing CITs, Conservation Training, for next summer, 2024. So if you're already booked, you already have soccer and arts camp and all those other amazing things that I highly recommend you do as well, that's okay. We hope to catch you next year. But if you are free and you need something to do with your kids for this week, sign them up for zoo camp. It'll be the best week or two weeks or three weeks, if you want, of your life. So I'm going to say goodbye with Barb and I because someone is probably lunchtime. It's me. But I'm sure Barb also will want to go back and take a nap after this all this awesome action.